Tulsa police are taking action to address the issue of stolen and abandoned shopping carts scattered across our city. Tunis Oklahoma's Samson Tamajani listens to voices from a local grocer and a homeless resource center to understand how effective this new initiative could be and what it means for our community. It's a busy holiday week at Las Americas Supermercado on East Admiral. Principalmente ya para el Día del Pavo están preparando. Bastante bien. Jesus Trejo Perez, or Don Jesus as he's known here, heads produce sales at the local chain's biggest location. It also touches Interstate 244, where numerous homeless encampments are found with shopping carts. En tres meses, arriba de... In three months, we've gotten about 150 new shopping carts. They're expensive, but during these spans, we find carts stolen after time, after time, after time. Reasons like that contribute to Tulsa Police Department offering to business owners last week that officers can issue citations to anyone using a store shopping cart off their premises and potentially confiscate them. Does that go toward the narrative of criminalizing homelessness? Possibly, yes, it's possibly going go that direction for sure, yes. Few people know what those unhoused use more than Tulsa Day Center CEO Mac Haltem. He says he hasn't met with anyone from TPD about this issue, but believes fines won't be a viable solution. So it's a concern because it's, it is citing an, an individual again and kind of puts them in the court system. And if they if uh, they don't show up for the fine, they can put a warrant out for them and they end up in jail. Uh, oftentimes that, that happens on those kind of citations. Whatever options come to Tulsa's homeless, Don Jesus is only shopping for results. I couldn't tell you the exact details or solutions. That's really for our owner to decide. But what I can say is the carts keep getting stolen. In Tulsa, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma.